here we are on Final Cut Express. Uh, the main thing you'll see is mine looks really strange. I've just did this for tutorial purposes because I wanted the main screen to be big, the edit screen to be big, and the timeline to be small just so you can see what it will finally look like. Um, it's really easy to do, just adjust the size of the screen just so you can see what you're doing. Anyway, to start off with, when your clip is in your uh, browser, you got to drag it into the timeline. Obviously everyone knows how to do that. If you don't, it's just... <laughs> Seriously, that's really easy. Um, it's just a nice little hard flip. Clean, not sketchy, nice. And just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to drag on another one so I can show you a before and after. Okay, the first thing I like to do, um, very simple, add slow mo. To do this, I don't slow mo the whole clip because that looks horrible. I find where I start the pop, cut it, I press B for the blade tool, cut, I find where I land. I usually just use my scroll wheel to find frame by frame where I land. Uh, go back, press A, go back to your mouse tool, click it, uh, Apple J to go to the speed, 50%, I like to keep it as so there's no frame cutting and it looks nice and smooth, frame blending always on, if it's not on, click it, very simple, OK, and you'll see it has to be rendered, so Alt R, and it will render. I filmed it at 250 um, for shutter speed just so there's a bit of blur, so it looks like there's a bit of motion going on, as you can see it looks a bit nicer. And that is what I generally start off doing. It's very simple, very nice. It just kind of gets the ball rolling. And a lot of my videos, I usually leave it as this. Just as a slow motion trick of whatever I've just done. Okay, now here comes the tricky bits. Go on to effects. Uh, you want to go on to video filters, color correction, or color corrector. Or you can go on to uh, effects, video filters, color correction, and then color corrector when you're clicked on the clip. But I think it's a lot easier just to do this. Color corrector, double click it, open it up, go onto the top tabs, go onto color corrector, and bam. Now what I like to do is I like to this is how I set my clips. I turn the saturation down, the blacks down, the mids up, and the whites up. And this is generally how I like the clips to look like, and then I drag this little ball thing here down to the turquoise. Then you click on the hand drag it in, and as you can see, it's already looking nicer. Um, the reason why I can't do this all at once in one clip is because if I do, I have to like memorise what the numbers were, put it in, it's really annoying. So I just generally, what I generally tend to do is I edit it in here, drag it in, if I don't like it, I remove it. But now I know I want, this is generally how I roll. Saturation down, blacks down, mids up and whites up. The mids might be a, too, might be a bit too high. Uh, no, it was better before, but the whites lower. Actually, you know, the whites were good how they were. You can already see when I keep going over it, you can see that already looks nicer. So you highlight all three, uh, in fact, I might turn the saturation down a bit more and make it a bit more blue. Yes, that looks nice, in my opinion. Uh, render that out, this might take a while, or not. Good old quick computer. Now I don't have Windows on it, so here's a before. Bit of a hard for going on. Now here's an after. Do -do. You can already see the difference. It's already looking a lot nicer. All right, now from here, I generally just tend to add in uh, RGB balance, and usually I desaturate the highlights, but that's a bit too complicated. So what you do is you go into uh, stylize if you want to add some effects. Um, what always looks nice is, where is it, a vignette. I always add this in my nicer videos. Uh, it basically gives a bit of blur around the outside of the video. Once again, uh, I, you can edit these to however you want, so I usually go size about 1, fall off about 0 0.2, I don't care really. Blur amount, always nice and high. Darken, a bit darker, and saturation all the way up. Drag it in, and oh, a bit too much. Might remove that a bit. Make the size a bit lower. Drag it in, and as you can see, looking rather nice. Render that bollocks out. Do, do. And looking good, looking good. And what you can do, just to make it look a bit nicer, is make the fall off a bit more. 
and you can see the blur is kind of spread out a bit but I don't really like that so I usually tend to have the fall off lower and the size a bit below one that's just how I like it um, render that and yeah that's pretty much all I do I don't really do that much and it's pretty simple what I do but you can tell it's already looking nicer and if you really want to you can go onto the saturation on these clips color corrector turn all the way up it looks kind of horrible with all the um, colors all on if you turn it way down it doesn't look very nice either so you want to keep it at around three quarters of the way down below the saturation you can mess around with the colours a bit to see what you'd like. I always think blue looks nice and green, if you want to go for like the film look, you can slap a bit of green on there. But I just personally just stick with a bit of blue. Looks nicer, always looks nice. <coughs> <coughs> and that is that guys. Uh, just a bit of before and after for you. You can see before clip and then after clip. Small difference but it makes all the difference. Um, of course you can sync this to music and I'll show you how to do that in a later video but this is generally what you do if you want to keep your uh, clips of fingerboarding or anything else in Final Cut Express looking nice for your video. Um, thanks for watching guys and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to do uh, music syncing uh, to the max and I'll be using Skate 3 clips to uh, demonstrate that for you. So yeah guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.